NYPD says shootings are up more than 76 percent compared to this time last year. That shocking number comes as New York's attorney general is trying to put the NRA out of business. I've lost several people from gun violence. And so Nicole Myers of Stand Against Violence East Harlem is dedicating her life to helping New Yorkers touched by gun violence. She says the most common thing people ask her. Why my child? How could this happen to my child? Myers and other activists stood with elected officials today to show support for New York Attorney General Letitia James. The AG sued the National Rifle Association last year, seeking to dissolve the organization. The group was chartered in New York as a nonprofit in 1871. She has threatened to dissolve their corporate entity here in New York State because of the depth of the corruption. The head of the NRA, Wayne LaPierre, took the stand in a high stakes bankruptcy trial this week. The gun rights group is trying to declare bankruptcy in New York and incorporate in Texas. He called New York's government toxic and politicized. Every time I go to a funeral of somebody killed by guns, I think of the NRA and all the damage that they're doing. For decades, the NRA has been a powerful lobbying group, and gun control legislation remains highly partisan in Congress. As the Biden administration works to curb gun violence through limited executive actions, the president criticized Congress Thursday. They've offered plenty of thoughts and prayers, members of Congress, but they've passed not a single new federal law to reduce gun violence. And this week, the new state budget allocates funding for community violence intervention. Also, New York State is the first state in the country to consider gun violence a public health crisis. We're live in Lower Manhattan. Allison Caden, PIX11 News.